on. Man, I need a haircut. Hello, can you, can you hear me? Mia. <clears throat> yes, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, but I, I can't see you. I can see you. Press the camera button. I can't find it. Stop biting your nails. Okay, I clicked on it. I still can't see you. Hey, it worked. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're even uglier than the pictures. <laughs> You should see the look on your face. <laughs> yeah, thanks for messing with me. Oh, did I hurt your ego? No, you didn't hurt my ego. It's just... That's the first time anyone has said that to me on catch date. I assume you've dated other people on catch dates? A few, yeah. What, you haven't? You're the first person I've talked to in a long time. Face to face. <laughs> I'm honored. Why me? Good question. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> I don't usually have deep conversations on first dates. <laughs> if you think this is a deep conversation to you, then there's no point in me bringing up Berkeley and her materialism. You know Berkeley? Yeah, yeah, of course I know him. I have a BA in religion and philosophy. So my intuition worked. I had a good feeling about you. Instincts are worthless. As Berkeley said, nothing exists unless we see with our own eyes. You mean you aren't real? And the other way around, from my perspective, you're not real either. So how do we fix this? I guess we should meet. <laughs> Has that line worked for you? A few times, yeah. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Yeah. Um, you know, to tell you the truth, as much as I like to see you, I can't. Why do your parents forbid you to leave the house after dark? <laughs> Worse. Police. So you're a bad boy. Do you like bad boys? Well, it depends. For example, I wouldn't be talking to you if you were Ted Bundy. You know, the funny thing is, if I were Ted Bundy, you'd probably talk to me because I'd be so charismatic that you wouldn't even think I was a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you manage to get that jewel? <sighs> it's just a misunderstanding. The trial is in two weeks, and I hope to get rid of it as soon as possible. So you aren't as brave and mischievous as I thought. I don't relish the prospect of spending the next seven years in prison. Are you afraid of prison? I wouldn't say that. I mean, my lawyers told me that there's no clear evidence against me. That means you're guilty, right? I just told you that. You said that there's no clear evidence against you. In other words, you were smart or lucky enough to get away with it. Okay, let's, let's change the subject, please. Why? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? If you were in my shoes, how would you feel? Maybe I was in your shoes. <laughs> Have you ever been in prison? I was arrested for disorderly conduct. <laughs> yeah, nah, you don't seem like the type. <laughs> what type am I? <laughs> you're, the, you're the kind of girl you <laughs> introduced to your parents. <laughs> oh, making plans already? <laughs> I speak in general. Oh, okay, I see.
Who did you fight with? Who said I fought anyone? Disorderly conduct. You either surrendered an ex-boyfriend or got into a chick fight. Worse. I caught my ex-boyfriend in the car with a whore. Oh, that's, that's nasty. I know. I broke his windshield and the neighbors called the police. And they arrested you for that? I also spat at the cop and then <gasps> accused him of him groping me. Oh my god. You're wilder than I thought. Berkeley was a smart man. Appearances <gasps> are deceiving. <sighs> Are you there? Hello? Nate? Hey, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I'm having some problems with my signal. Or maybe there's a ghost in your room. <laughs> Just one? I mean, this place is old enough to house a dozen ghosts. No, maybe they're jealous of me. <laughs> ghosts don't have feelings. Bullshit. Why else would they haunt someone? Because they're lost in space. They're not lost. They're just, they're, they're obsessed. They just, they just have a hard time letting go of a place or a feeling or certain people. Do you believe in ghosts? I watch I wouldn't enter it on a documentary learning channel from time to time. <laughs> That show is staged. <laughs> Literally everything on TV is staged. Life is much less interesting than it's portrayed in the media. Trust me. Do you believe in ghosts? I've never seen one. And you don't believe in things you don't see. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. What's this? Take a look for yourself. <laughs> Is this a virus or something? Because if you try to steal my email password, I'll tell you right now, you don't stand a chance. It's encrypted with Batch. I don't know what Batch is, but it sounds interesting and complicated. It's the most advanced encryption program. Are you trying to impress me, Mr. Programmer? I assure you, I don't want to steal your password. I don't want to see your dick pics or read your dollar store newsletter. <laughs> I don't have dick pics. Why? Are you shy? Shyness has nothing to do with common sense. <laughs> then excuse me. Do you have new selfies? Taking nude photos. Is an art. In case you didn't know, I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> What's this, Dracula's living room? No, it's a haunted house. You know, this stuff is therapeutic. Did you know that? What do you mean? Nothing is happening. And this nothingness is hypnotic. Transcendental meditation. All the Hollywood stars do it. You read gossip sites? Every morning. Do you see that? See what? The chair. It moved. Maybe it was just an illusion. No. It moved, I'm sure. Okay, even if it moved, it means nothing. I can move this chair out of the room. The hell you can. All right, watch me. What are you doing? One moment.
All right, I'm going to leave the room now, okay? Okay, watch the chair. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. <sighs> How'd you do that? I tied it to the chair. But there's no string here on the website. Yeah, well, maybe the creep who owns the site tied a fishing line. I mean, they're very thin, like almost invisible. Well, it says it's live. It could also say it's broadcasting from the moon. That doesn't mean the room is on the moon, does it? <laughs> the internet is just a web of lies, okay? The big corporations created it to play with our minds and keep us busy. Don't tell me you're into conspiracy theories. Ghosts don't fall into that category? It moved again. Are you sure? 100%. I have goosebumps. Then let's get out of here. No. Why? What do you mean, why? Are you a masochist? <laughs> to evolve, you have to face your fears. I don't think this website is going to help you evolve. So you're scared? I didn't say that. Then why are you backing out? I'm not backing out. It just seems like a waste of time. What's wrong? I think I, I heard something. Where? Downstairs. Maybe it's your parents. Hey, hey, where, where, where are you going? To take a look. Are you out of your mind? You're like that dumb chick in all the horror movies who, instead of running away, you jump right into the killer's arms. You call me a dumb chick? That was just a figure of speech. Hey, look, here's the thing. If you think there's someone in the house, call the police. That's the wisest thing you can do. You just said how evil the police are. Like it or not, they're the only ones who can help you in a situation like this. Yeah, whatever. Mia, please. Do you hear anything? Mia. Shh. Hey, what's going on? She's here. Who? The, the, the ghost. No. Mia. Mia, are you there? Please. No. Mia. No. Go storm real, go storm real, go storm real. Come on, come on, pick up, pick up. Why is it big answering? You think I'm his babysitter? 
What's wrong? Did you smoke another joint and panic? No. No. Nate, don't lie to me. Careful. I bet these guys are watching you 24-7. Have you seen that documentary on Oxford Data? No. Honestly, I wish they followed me. Just yesterday, you hated living in a society run by Big Brother. Today, they're your best friends? I think I witnessed a murder. What? A murder, Kate. I saw a murder. Where? I was talking to this girl I had met on case dates, and... How are you doing on that site? Only psychopaths are on that site. Didn't you see that documentary about the serial killer who met his victims on dating apps? No, this is real life. And documentaries tell stories about real life events. They're not fiction. That's why they're called documentaries, because they document real life. As I said, I was talking to this chick. I had met on catch dates, and she sent me this link to this website that broadcasts live images from a haunted house. A what? A haunted house. I saw things moving around the room. I mean, she, she seen them. And you didn't? I didn't pay attention to it. But at some point, the girl told me that the, the ghost had came for her. I, I mean, that it was in her house. And then she had disappeared from the screen, and an invincible hand on the wall in her room wrote that I was next. And this girl lived in the haunted house? No, Kate. She was in her house. The haunted house is somewhere else. And the ghost came from the haunted house to her house? Yes. <laughs> You're so stupid. Okay, give me the link to this website. I sent it to you. Looks pretty boring to me. You expect to see ghosts flying around the room? <laughs> no, but I was expecting it to look creepier. It just looks like this house is in desperate need of renovation. All haunted houses need renovations. I think you're too stressed. And you don't say? A woman died in front of me. No, I meant the trial and... The trial has nothing to do with this. You sure about that? Yes, Kate, I'm sure. Because it seems to me that you've been acting pretty strange lately. Strange in what way? I don't know. You're not answering your phone. When we talk, you're either absent or nervous. I've always been that way. I'm a coherent person, and so are you. So you should know what I'm talking about. It's one thing to be angry. It's another thing to be irritable. But I am not irritable. Don't get me wrong. I'm not accusing you. I understand you completely. I can imagine the hell you're going through. It's, it's Vic. Why aren't you answering your phone? I'm the one who's not answering? I called you earlier. I was in the bathroom. I called you back right when I got out. I didn't get anything. <sighs> Come on. Let me see your phone. Look. All right, whatever, man. What are you doing? Hey, Vic. Kate, I didn't even see we were in a conference. You've been a bit off lately. Is everything okay with you and Julia? She's a freak with uh, no humanity. What are you two doing anyways? I mean, we're looking at a haunted house. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, it's streaming live footage from a haunted house. Okay, cool. Send me the link. Do I have to pay anything? No, it's free. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Looks like my grandmother's house. Oh, and the girl who gave him the link is dead. Who? I was talking to a girl on catch dates. 
Was she hot? Seven. Okay, nice, nice, okay. Yeah, and um, we both went to this website and then 10 minutes later, she told me that the ghost came after her and she started screaming. The ghost? No, the girl. Okay. Oh, tell him about the hand. Yeah, um, an invisible hand wrote in blood on the wall that I was next. So she wanted to get rid of you in a spectacular way. I mean, you have to appreciate her effort. Look, I'm serious, dude. <laughs> Don't tell me you're scared, Nate. Wouldn't you be? No. Nate, Nate, my dear friend, ghosts don't exist, okay? We're not kids anymore. Okay, don't tell me you still believe in ghosts. All right, we don't live in the Middle Ages. Okay, what if they do exist? Okay, well, I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, guys, something's moving. Where? Uh, the, the candlestick on the table. Finally, we get some action today. Now, do you believe me? Look, I can't even see anything. Oh, look, it's it's right something on the table. And what does it say? B. I. Say it. Now, do you believe us? <laughs> okay, very funny, guys. Okay, joke's over. How'd you do that? What do you mean? We did nothing. Yeah, right. Okay, if you didn't do it, then we're obviously dealing with a prankster. How do you find out your name? Simple. How? Huh. He or she or whoever is behind this, okay, knows our internet address. I'm using mobile data? Okay, that's why he doesn't know your name, Kate. My name's on that table right there, not yours. I'm out of here. What are you freaking out for like this? You're not alone, okay? We're right here with you. What happened? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I mean, maybe their servers went down. I'm, I mean, I'm sure we're not the only idiots sitting around watching. This is her room. Who's? Mia's. The dead girl. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure there's a logical explanation. <laughs> I mean, there has to be. Who the hell would do something like this? There's no contact page. Hey, dude, I don't know much about ghosts, but I'm sure they don't have email addresses. Can you stop making fun of us? I don't understand why you guys are so upset. Okay, you guys saw a dead body and that's it. Okay, so what? You feel the life is draining out of you or something? Okay, you let this psychopath play with your mind. I found a phone number. Where? I searched the website address on the internet. And the phone number came up, but when I go to the website, the phone number is no longer there. Okay, maybe it's not his website anymore. I'm gonna call him. No answer. What did I tell you? Look, somehow, I've gotta find this bastard. Wait, 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 wait. Find him? For, for what? What, you wanna learn from him? <laughs> is that it? You, you wanna make him your sensei? Teach me, master. It's him. The psychopath. Hello? Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm calling Send him my regards. Ghostwebcam.com. What do you mean it's not yours? What's he saying? Yeah, I, I, can, I can send you the link on Connect Chat. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you there. I'm sending you the invitation right now. Hey, what did he say? Um, he's joining us on Connect Chat, but he told me that the website is not his. I mean, it is his, but he didn't pay the hosting domain. Okay, and then why didn't they shut it down? Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. How did you get this phone number? Um, I found it on the internet. On the website? No, not 
on the website on the search engine. I mean, I guess it's still linked to the website. Yeah, I haven't used this website since the early 2000s. Well, then who owns it then? I don't know. <clears throat> I stopped paying for the domain. Someone else must have picked it up. But what did you post on it when you owned it? I'm interested in the paranormal, so articles about poltergeists, haunted houses. And now it's about the same thing. Do you recognize this house? Let me see. Yeah. Yep. This is my old house. You don't live there anymore? No. I moved out two years ago. I sold it after my father died. I, I couldn't live there anymore. Well, do you have any idea who owns the house? No. I sold it through a real estate agency. I never met the buyer. Was the house haunted when you lived there? Haunted? No. I mean, I'd hear the floorboards creaking, but it was pretty old, so I... I mean, I never thought it was a ghost. And I'm... Yeah, I was really passionate about this subject, so... I could tell a ghost if I saw one. It's writing again. It's time for what? Now do you understand what we're talking about? I, I mean, I've never seen any. This is the first time I've... Are you sure this isn't a joke? Stan, this, that's what we're trying to figure out. What's your full name? What? Why? Because the real estate records are public. I mean, we can find out the name of the current owner, but for that, I need your name. Stan <clears throat> Guspowski. That's an interesting name. Are you from, from Eastern Europe? I'm Polish, but my father was. He came here right after the end of World War II. I was born here in Chicago. I found it. <laughs> Stories uh, Tomikic. Is she? It's Mia. You sure it's her? Of course I'm sure. Why? Because this picture was taken in 1979. Or uh, maybe it's her grandmother. Her obituary. Uh. It says she didn't have any children. Okay, who, who the hell is this woman? Well, most likely it's just a hoax. Does this website look like a hoax to you? I don't know. I don't know any of you people. What? Why did you contact me? What do you even want from me? I told you why I contacted you. I wanted to find out what's going on. And I swear it's not a joke. I want you to leave me alone. No, sir. Please. No, oh, he's, he's lost the signal. camera what look at the ghost camera that's that's my house I, you sure I think I know what my house looks like okay well we'll get out of there it's here who is here? Stan. Stan. Stan, listen to me. You need to get out. I. I. Please, Stan, I get can't. out. Look, Mia I, did the same thing. I can't move. What, what do you mean you can't? the fight flight freeze body response to danger okay but it's just an illusion stand you can move just try it no no i'm doomed no you're not doomed stand 
You can save yourself. Please do something. How do you know it's a ghost? Maybe it's your wife. I'm not married. But then maybe it's someone else? Your girlfriend or, or a friend? Where are you going? Stan. That's the second time I've seen that today. And you don't think that's too much of a coincidence, Nate? What do you mean? As far as we know, there's a connection between Stan and, and, and what's her name? Mia? Yes, okay, Stan and Mia. What connection? I don't... Okay. Stan sold that house to Mia. He didn't sell her the house. No, he sold it to a woman who looks just like the one you talked to. Okay, these two plan to drive us crazy, and the best part is they succeeded. Why would they do that? Okay, Kate, psychopaths, they, they create their own worlds, okay, in which their own laws apply. And these people are convinced that their actions are perfectly normal and perfectly justifiable. Unfortunately, I can't answer your question because, because no one can. Because we can't get inside their heads. And if we try, look, they'll break us. And what do you suggest we do? Let's just get the hell out of here, okay? And get on with our born existence full of superficial things. Wait, listen. A woman has died. <laughs> Look, I'm not surprised at all because he, he's done his number. I bet he and your girl are just watching us look like fools. I mean, I don't know. Dude. I mean, this, this whole thing just gives me the creeps. I don't understand how you got into this stupid game to begin with, Nate. I told you, I found her on catch dates. I thought there was something between us, so I asked her for a phone number. She wouldn't give it to me, but she agreed to talk on Connect. Dude, I met a couple of girls on catch dates before. Okay, three of them were divorced and desperate for sex. The fourth had been committed to a mental institution. Okay, she was still trying to recover from losing her house at Blackjack. Top class women. Okay, are you jealous, Kate? Me? Please, why would I be? I don't know. I'm just asking. Okay, Nate, you, you, has your shown any signs of psychosis? No, she acted normal. And that is what I like about her, is that she didn't freak out when I told her I was leaving house arrest. You did what? What, I told her I was... I are you, are you really that stupid, Nate? Well, I don't, I don't understand, what? Why what would you tell a girl you just met on catch dates that you don't even know? That you're under house arrest. Maybe she was hired by the, the DA thief. to gather evidence against okay, you. Okay, first of all, that's impossible. Because she died before she got anything out of me. Second, I didn't tell her why I got arrested. <sighs> okay, okay, speaking of the trial, do you have any new news? I mean, my lawyer told me that everything was going to be fine. Okay, did they find any more evidence against you, though? No. Actually, they don't have anything on me. I mean, unless they make something up. And I'm going to trial with an open heart. I don't think the prosecution can afford to lose this case, Nate. Why do you say that? You know who the prosecutor is, don't you? No, I didn't ask my lawyer. And why does it matter? <sighs> Search Douglas Rogers. This guy's a killer machine, Nate. Okay, uh, figuratively speaking. But he hasn't lost a case in over a decade. So? So, you, you have a public defender. <sighs> Look, it doesn't matter. Look, I could have represented myself. As long as there's nothing against me, <laughs> they can't convict me. Are you sure there's no evidence against you? What kind of question is that? A pertinent question. Are you 100% sure they have nothing against you? Exactly. Do you doubt my innocence? I never did. 
Listen, Nate, I don't want to scare you, okay? But your case is not as easy as you think. I read an article where Roger said he wanted to make an example of you. They can't do that. Nate, we live in America. Just look around you. You're allowed to do anything you want as long as you have the right people behind you. I thought the truth was the most important thing. The truth? Nate, give me an example where the truth saves someone. Okay, 99% of the time, the truth destroys you. Then what should I do? Lie? No, no, okay. Don't lie. Okay, lying won't help you either. Then what do I have to do then? Find the fine line between truth and lie. Okay, know when it's in your best interest to tell the truth and when you should omit it. Okay, mind you not to lie, but just to omit telling the truth. You should put an ad on the internet. Waiter with a passion for psychology. Please contact <laughs> me for therapy. Okay, look, you can make fun of me all you want. That doesn't mean I'm not right. Nick. <laughs> I'm being falsely accused of sexual abuse by my ex-girlfriend, who's a creepy psychopath. Do I need to be stigmatized by society for this? Dude, I still don't understand why you had a relationship with her. Because I fell in love with her. What kind of question is that? Okay, look, I don't, I don't understand. Is this an intervention or what? <laughs> you guys think you have the perfect life. Vic, you are 70% alcohol and you can't have more failed relationships than any other woman in Ohio. That's the truth. Look, yes, I made a mistake. Which now you're repeating. What did I repeat? Enlighten me. What did you look up on that dating site? I'm a man, I have needs. What if this girl came to you and accused you of sexually assaulting her? Hey, first of all, I didn't invite her here. But let's say you did, and she says you abused her. What does that mean to you? Life imprisonment. Okay, let's not exaggerate. Dude, I'm not exaggerating at all. Look. I heard this rattling right when Mia disappeared. So what are we gonna do now? Let's let's just call 911. I tried calling, but there's no answer. That's impossible. Hold up. What the hell is going on? Maybe you don't have a signal. I'm talking to you, Kate, so signal's not the problem. Oh, stand. He hung himself? Stan's dead. No kidding. No, I mean he died 30 years ago. What do you mean? That's not Stan. Or if he is, then I guess we have proof that ghosts really exist. Here, I sent you the link. Fifth paragraph. Okay, maybe maybe he's not the only Stan Gabowski in Chicago. How many Gozabowskis do you know? Doesn't matter, Kate. It says he was murdered and the killer was never found. Okay, what's wrong? Look at this. So you mean Stan is a ghost too? I'm not saying that. But he and me are... There were no cameras back then. Are you stupid? They came out about a hundred years earlier. Okay, anyway, it's easy to edit an image, Kate. Okay, you apply a filter and bam, we're all from the 70s. I don't know, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, the photo looks pretty real to me and so does the article. Okay, so this picture also solves the mystery of Stan's death. What do you mean? 
okay, maybe Mia caught him cheating, cheating on her with, with, with another woman and cut his throat in a fit of rage. You think she killed him? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, relax a little bit. Can't you two see how stupid this is? I don't, I don't know. I mean, this whole thing is just gives me the creeps. Both of you just wasted 30 minutes of my life. What do you think, Kate? I think we should report these two to the police. And what do you want to tell them? That two psychopaths are playing ghost? Guys, as much as I love to hang out with you and continue this discussion about werewolves and vampires and supernatural forces, I have more important things to do. Okay, but if you're still scared, you can always call the ghost hunters to help you. Okay, just text me if, if anyone else dies. You guys hear that? I think the ghost is coming for me. Which one? Oh, you're right. There are two of them. Hmm. I mean, no offense, Nate, but between Mia and Stan, I think I prefer Mia. It, it changed again. What? Who? The ghost camera. Okay, funny, guys. Very funny. What, what do you mean? That's my front door. I, I've done nothing. Okay, yeah, right. Just come on, you two. Just stop playing games and let me mind my business. Vic, I swear I have nothing to do with this. Okay, if it's not you, Kate, then, then Nate. Okay, do you really think I'm kidding with this stuff? I don't know what you're up to. Okay, but April Fool's Day passed. Just, just save your jokes for next year. Vic, I swear. I'm not doing anything. Guys, if you think you can scare him, you're wrong. Look, I don't want to scare you. Vic, what's going on? his house look i'll tell them what happened and they'll leave me alone you you really think they'll believe you look our friend is in danger and you aren't well you go <laughs> yeah sure fighting a ghost is on my bucket list we're not sure if it's a ghost a ghost or a psychopath it doesn't matter you, you don't even have to go there just go to the police station and, and, and tell them you're in danger Remember three years ago when I was mugged downtown? They didn't even take my statement. So if we're all in danger, we're all gonna be dead by the time they start the investigation. It's him. Guys, I locked myself in the bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you? No, no, no. I think there's somebody in the house. What, did you try calling 911? I tried calling the cops, they didn't answer. Steps. I mean, it's a real person. Can you hear anything? Vic. Why the hell did he walk out? Maybe he was trying to escape the house. Vic. Hey, Vic, are you all? Are you all right?
It killed him. It, it killed him. Why? What did he do to it? What does he want from I, I us? I don't know. But we have to find out. Look, we can't just sit here and wait for him to kill us. He's, he's here. Here where? Outside of my apartment. Look, hey, look. This is your chance to get out of the house. You have time to seek help. No. What do you mean by no? I won't leave you alone. Look, you're five miles away. Please don't be stupid. Get out. He'll find me. Kate, listen to me. Don't be so stubborn. Finally. Hey, Miss, Miss, Mr. Davidovich. Wait, hang on, hang on. I'm putting you on speaker. Why are you putting me on speaker? Who are you there with? I'm with a friend and a ghost. Are you kidding me? No, only an idiot would make fun of his parole officer. What do you mean a ghost? Like a, like a gang sign? No, sir, look. Look, I've seen three people die before my eyes. And one of them was my best friend, and apparently I'm next. Cooper, in case you didn't know, hallucinogens are illegal in this state. Look, I don't, I, don't, I don't have time for this. Look, just join me on Connect Chat and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. What the hell is Connect Chat? You don't know what Connect Chat is? No, Cooper. Should I? Yes, it's an app that allows video calls. And what's a video call? Okay, look, sir, don't, don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't the time to teach you about the secrets of the internet. Where are you right now, Cooper? At home, sir. Unfortunately. Well, your GPS tells me otherwise. What do you mean? It shows me that you're downtown. Okay, that's that's definitely an error. I'm I'm at home. Are you calling me a liar, young man? No, sir, but look, I swear I'm telling you the truth. Look, I do anything to be away from home right now. <sighs> 285 Cordonalet Street. That's my address. Who's there? That's the friend that I was telling you about. Kate, Catherine Mercer, sir? Uh, 285 Cordonalet Street is my address. So Cooper's there with you? No. No, sir. No, sir. Look, it's me at home. Look, just, I'll be waiting when you get here. Cooper, if you make me go over there and I find out that you've made fun of me, I'll put it all in the report. And that means another five years in prison for you. Look, I'm not lying. I'll be waiting for you. Why does your parole officer know my address? He doesn't know your address. Then why does my address show up on his GPS? Do it look like I know more than you? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> I'm scared. Look, I told you to get out of the house. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? I'm trying to wake up. It, this is definitely a nightmare. Wait, uh, hey, Kate, stop. I want to wake up now. Kate, stop. No. Kate. me alone. Kate. Look, it'll be fine. You'll see. But you have to stay calm. Easier said than done. But please listen to me. Get out of the house. I can't do that. Nate. Why? Because. It changed again. This isn't your apartment. No, it's, it's not. Do you recognize it? Yeah. Really? Rachel lives there. 
your ex, Rachel. <laughs> so she's behind all this. What's the connection between her, Stan, and Mia? How are you doing? She blocked me. What? Rachel, she Ooh. blocked me on social media. Hey, see if you can uh if you can get into her profile. What's her name? Rachel Blum. <sighs> okay, I found her. Share your screen. Open her photo albums. Which one? She's got seven. I don't know. Open one. There. Where? Up. Third row, fifth image. It looks similar. See? It's the same building. They look similar. It's the same building. There are hundreds of apartment buildings that look like that. Nah, that, that would be too much of a coincidence, don't you think? All right. So what's the connection between her, Mia, and Stan? Look, I, I don't know, but we have to find out. Hey, uh, what did you say Stan's name was? Guzabowski. can't find any connection between him and Mia or Rachel. I give up. <sighs> Don't try and make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Okay, but why? Why? I st I still think you should take Lindsay and leave home. Lindsay's not home. She's got class until 8. Are you telling me you're alone? Yeah, why? Wait, okay. Run. What? Get out! There's someone behind you! Vic? is this why are Vic and Stan there they aren't it's just an illusion <laughs> so you're making fun of me <laughs> uh, I mean, congratulations you scared me <laughs> not as scared as you were when you got arrested what you were pretty calm. Confident, even. How do you know that? You weren't there. Darling, I know everything. Okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why are you acting like this? What have I done to you? It's not about what you did to me. It's about what you did to Rachel. I didn't do anything to her. You're lying. <laughs> I don't understand why you're doing this. I thought you were supporting me. Supporting you? I despise you. Why? Is it because I knew you had a crush on me and I didn't make a move? People like you and your friends don't deserve to live. What do you mean by that? What friends? You keep calling me Kate. Kate. But I'm, I'm not Kate. I'm Mia. I haven't learned anything, have you? Please, kid, just let's just end this charade. You're not listening, are, are you? Listening to what? My name's not Kate. Kate. All right, Mia. What did I do to you? Nothing. But, but I, I decided, decided to defend, defend those, those who, who can't, can't defend themselves. Rachel doesn't need help. 
She can help herself. She's an extremely cunning woman. Oh, the evidence she presented is worth more than your word. What evidence? She didn't have any evidence. And what about the bruises on her arms, on her neck, and her breast? She hurt herself. Stop, Stop lying. I'm not. I mean, what the hell do I have to prove to you and others that I'm innocent? Okay, let's assume I did hurt Rachel. What about Katie and Vic? They didn't believe Rachel. And Stan? What do you know about Stan? Nothing. That's why I'm asking. I deserve an explanation. You don't deserve anything. Stan's my father. You killed him? You got some nerves accusing me of a crime when you killed your own father. You know nothing. Exactly. I know nothing about you and Stan, just like you know nothing about me and Rachel. He raped me. I was 12 when my mother died. Cancer. Although that was a very hard time for me. Stan and I were never really close, but her death brought us closer together. I found unconditional support from him. At least I thought I did. Until one night, when he came home drunk, he got in bed next to me and- I'm sorry. No, you're not. People like you don't know what empathy is. Okay, I'm in. Can you, uh, can you see me? No. Oh. Wow, you, uh, you look better than in your photos. Thanks. What are you doing later? Nothing special. Why? Did you have anything in mind? Yeah. You want to, like, Come over and we could watch a movie and chill. Do you really want me to come over? Mm -hmm.